So Greta, you started your business not too long ago <laughs> and you've landed some really big name customers so early on. Yes. How did you do that? So it started through um, some of the relationships that we've been building. So uh, our team started as a research group at, out of the University of Waterloo. So we started developing some relationships with the industry through that. Um, I also used to work uh, at Magna before uh, starting the company. So uh, we utilized a lot Magna's of- Magna's one of your first customers. Yes, yeah. it was. And so we utilized some of those relationships to kind of understand our, these customers well enough and understand what their pain points are uh, so that we can find how to best apply our technologies to solve those issues they were having. And so what are you doing for Magna at the outset here? So right now we're looking at some of the data coming off of their systems. So the systems they're producing, like the components, you know, the drivetrains uh, or even like camera based systems. The information sort of in the manufacturing process, they have a bunch of sensors that have collect information. Is that is that how that works? Yeah, so we're looking a lot of the times at the end product. So for instance, uh, either when the car is completely assembled or when the component's completely ready. Um, and as it's operating and going through, you know, uh, it's electrical, whatever, we're taking the data being generated during that time and we're doing analysis on that data to find any malfunctions or problems with the systems. And when you identify a fault, what's the, what do you do? You notify Magna or does the line stop? How do they fix it? Oh no, we <laughs> notify them. Yeah. We, we tell them what, what's wrong and where we're noticing this problem across components. And then uh, we're showing them kind of where the problem is, what sensors are indicating the problem and helping them root cause the, root cause the issue. So beyond Magna, where you had some work experience and some relationships, yeah. you've also landed Chrysler. How, how, did, how did you do that? <laughs> yeah, so um, we started uh, talking with their Brampton facility uh, here um, in Ontario. And was that a cold call you made? or No, um, actually it was through the plant manager. Uh, I, one day I just started talking to him about you know, what our technology does. And he just looks at me and he's like, you know, we're having this exact uh, issue at the plant. A lot of our cars are going through and we're testing them and they're failing them. We're retesting them, they're passing. And we have no idea sometimes why that's happening. And so our technology would show them, you know, through the data, uh, why some of these problems could occur. You know, what can they change in their testing process and, or the way they're integrating the component mm -hmm. that can help them resolve the issue. Were they also already collecting all the data you needed or do you actually get them to add Hardware? To, yeah, yeah. No, we're uh, completely hardware-less, so we do not uh, ask them to integrate any hardware. We're a SaaS solution. And so the interesting thing for us was that they're collecting a lot of this data, uh, but they're not using, not using it. it. No, so uh, even uh, like, so getting them you know, to share that data was initially a challenge because they're used to you know, collecting it. If it looks fine, just uh, dump it. So, a lot of yeah. big companies are always nervous about working with startups. Are you going to be around? Do you have enough mm -hmm. capital to survive? Or is your business model going to work? Yeah. How did you navigate all those issues? Um, so we're starting uh, small and focused on specific issues that they had. So just to demonstrate to them, you know, the value they can get. And uh, a lot of our pilot projects or initial projects, we get them to pay as well, just to make sure that we have the capital. Um, but it's just demonstrating to them that our technology is useful and that it's being used now, you know, not just by them, but across like other organizations as well. And so that gives them confidence that we're going to stick around. Right. Of course. You're raising capital for your business now. How are you going about doing that? Um, so we started the, through Techstars, which is an accelerator network, um, and we've been just uh, you know meeting people in the, in the VC industry, on, as well as their connections, kind of uh, telling them our story and seeing you know how they would like to see our business grow, so that we can uh, meet some of their objectives uh, as and uh, kind of get them to invest in us. A lot of the big manufacturers that you're targeting have their own venture capital arms. Is yes. part of your strategy to potentially bring in capital from maybe one of your big customers? Oh yeah, definitely. Like that's uh, one of our strategies. So we either want an initial investment or uh, an exit strategy where they will uh, potentially purchase us as, as well. Um, one big benefit of that is that it's a strategic. So it shows that someone in the industry with a lot of uh, credibility is actually believing right, in your product. It's real validation. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But a lot of those investments are currently uh, a lot more later stage. So they want to see you work with the company for a while before they actually put in capital.